Hey Pradeep, markets were vulnerable to a fall, so you are not particularly surprised by this 80 point move? Hi, good afternoon. Yeah, market was in a sense vulnerable to the fall because if you see the overall chart pattern from the bottom of 7927 that was made on 24th of June, we have already seen a run up of around 10% on Nifty and 13% of in Bank Nifty. Now, more importantly, if you look at last 10 days action, towards 25th July when we made a fresh high of uh, closer to 86.40 and then uh, uh, more recently on 8th of August of 87.23, the RSI made a lower top compared to previous tops. So this is what we call a negative divergence uh, in technical parallels. So uh, whatever incremental tops we got, we got RSI which was trending lower. So this clearly suggested that the market is a bit tired and uh, fatigue was setting in. So clearly some sort of consolidation or correction was due. So I think the nearest support which we track is 34 day moving average which is currently placed around 8480 and it is a, a, a bit of an upward trending uh, trend line. So I think closer to 8500 it would, it would uh, provide a good support uh, to the benchmark and that is where the previous bottom uh, made in uh, on 4th August is also placed. So I think uh, around 8500 would be a good level where Nifty can found support. For the short term yes, uh, around 100 point of more correction can be seen. How would you look at Tata Chemical at 500 rupees? So this is clearly uh, looking good on its uh, major charts. Uh, it uh, it had a, its share of uh, consolidation and correction and then it broke out on its weekly charts around 435, 440 kind of levels. And after that we were gunning for targets of 526 which was the top made in, on, in July 2015. So in today's session it has nearly achieved that. So I think that is a kind of double top uh, in place. Uh, once that is taken out 525 or decisively, then we can talk of higher levels. But for the time being, the medium term targets we had on Tata Chemicals have been achieved. Right. Uh, you know, as far as uh, Tata Chemical is concerned, it's a name which has, uh, you know, done well. Irrespective of that, you believe one can buy at these levels? So yes, overall chart pattern continue to be bullish uh, and I, as I mentioned for last uh, couple of weeks it has a, it had a great run after breaking breaking out of the 435, 440 uh, kind of uh, level, resistance level and it has met its short term targets. So it might consolidate around these levels but larger picture continues to be good and I think it's it headed for good uh, greater levels from here on but in the short term it might consolidate a bit. Right, uh, as far as... Uh... You know, Adani Ports is concerned, 8% move, any view on that name? So yes, this is now uh, uh, confirming a higher top, higher bottom formation on its monthly chart. If you remember, it made a double top, a double bottom around 170 levels and 250 was the top it made in March 2016. Now with today's move, it is crossing that level. Once that, that sustains, it sustains about 250 level, I think it is headed for its previous all-time high which is placed around 375. So I think I would continue to be bullish and once it closes above 250 uh, on weekly basis, uh, today it's of course above that but I would like it to uh, sustain above it weekly basis and then it would be ready for that big up move. Right, uh, you know Grasim is not a name that uh, you would generally track but how is it looking 6% down? So, you know, cement uh, as a pack, we have been quite bullish uh, and uh, Grassim, Ultratech, uh, you know, in frontline, uh, ACC Ambuja in frontline pack, we have been our preferred bets. But, you know, the vertical run up it, which we saw in cement pack in last couple of months was uh, like pointing to a, that uh, some sort of correction would be in place. So, like even after today's fall, Grassim is still above its 34 day moving average, which is placed around 47.60. So, that would be the immediate support. But uh, I think overall chat pattern continue to, be, uh, continue to be bullish on the cement pack and on the downside I would be comfortable accumulating these stocks. Right. Uh, Lupin any view? 4% decline? So you know overall pharma uh, and uh, 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 more particularly frontline pharma we have been of the view that looking at the kind of run up uh, these stocks had over previous couple of years. They are in for a major consolidation of over one, one to two years. So that is what is playing out on uh, most of the pharma stocks. Uh, talking particularly about Lupin, 
a major resistance is placed around its 20 month moving average which is placed around 1750 so that is where it for past two months it has been facing uh, quite a bit of resistance so once that is taken out then we can uh, call it that uh, the correction is over and the stock has resumed the uptrend uh, for the timing we would continue to believe that the stock is uh, still in the larger consolidation phase right any view on dish tv from the levels of 105 it's come down to 91 very quickly so you know uh, here also on the larger perspective the trend continues to be bullish but uh, this had a this this stock also had a fair share of run up and uh, over last month uh, year or so it has been consolidating i think the relevant range for dish tv is 105 uh, 104 on the upside and on the lower side it is facing a, a it is having a good support around 80 kind of level so this is the broad range and once that is this range is taken out then we can talk about uh, uh, further up move or further down move but i think for after this consolidation the stock most probably will resume its uptrend and once 105 507 resistance is taken out then we can talk of higher levels right uh, so uh, you would want to buy towards this lower end of the range right so yes, yeah. Uh, from the overall perspective, I would be a buyer on the dish TV on the lower levels. But uh, uh, as a trend follower, I would like to the stock to uh, close above this resistance area for taking a decisive positive view. Right. Any view on Muthut Finance? Five percent higher today as well. So you know, Muthut as well as Manapuram, we had a clear positive view uh, on the basis of uh, the large uh, breakout after a long consolidation phase, both the stocks had. Apart from that, gold was also supporting this up move. Now you know, uh, the stock on the daily chart is facing uh, some sort of fatigue on the daily charts, it's uh, uh, forming negative divergence. So in the small, uh, in the nearest time period, it might uh, face some consolidation. But larger charts are still positive and I would uh, see higher levels uh, in the medium to long term. But in the short term, it might consolidate a bit. Right. Uh, Pradeep, what's your view as far as Madhusan Sumi is concerned? So despite today's uh, fall, we would continue to be bullish on Madhusan Sumi. If you remember, 310 was the uh, crucial resistance level which, which we, we were watching out for. The stock decisively broke about that. and went closer to 360. I think 310 which was its uh, spoil resistance would act as a support uh, which has happened in today's trade as well. So I think any decline would be a great buying opportunity for Mothers and Sumi and we are uh, working with target of 396 which was the top made in August 2015. So that is our minimum target over next couple of months and once that is taken out we would revise our target upwards. Right. So the decline today is an opportunity to buy or till what level would you look to buy? So I think uh, any decline towards 310, uh, as I mentioned, which, you, which used to be resistance, would now act as a support. So any decline towards 310 should be seen as an accumulation opportunity. And I think 270, which is its 200 DMA, would be a very good support, which should be used as a stop loss. And any decline towards 310 should be used as a buying opportunity. Right, Pradeep. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this afternoon.